face, my first presentation will be dealing with the 100th centennial evolution of hormone-dependent uh, uh, prostate cancer. Let us start with uh, what is an androgen receptor. Since we're uh, talking about anti-androgen therapy, androgen receptor is on the short arm of X chromosome. Uh, different zones and extent of the new uh, neutrons between these eight X zones and the product of translation of scriptum of androgen receptor is a protein which is composed of three uh, main domains that is ligand uh, 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 connecting uh, uh, domain uh, uh, liga and uh, terminal domain uh, that androgen uh, uh, I mean, is a, a, a receptor of steroid uh, hormones of ligand activated nuclear factors of transcription. It is expressed on epithelial, epithelial cells of the primary tumor and on the uh, cells of metastasis of prostate cases. Free androgen receptor of cytoplasm is connected with the proteins of the heat shock with together with capiron help uh, androgen receptor to acquire a certain spatial structure and stabilize it for the possibility of binding with its ligand together the testosterone. To get the testosterone penetrating into the cell is uh, uh, converted by 5 alpha reductase to get the first testosterone, and it has a great affinity to androgen receptor, is uh, bound to androgen receptor, of which there is a dissociation with proteins of the heat shock uh, demerization, and the entire complex of transcription trans is translated into uh, the core of the cell of heat uh, cytoplasm. It is bound to androgen dependent of the elements of the target genes and simultaneous involvement of co-regulatory proteins with formation of the active complex for start of the translation replication of DNA and cellular proliferation. and surgical castration on proliferation of the prostate cells and their dependence on androgens, on androgen impact. Nevertheless, we know that in case of prostate cancer, we have a rather efficient uh, tumoral marker that is a prostatic-specific antigen, PCA, and the gene a PCA gene is in the place 
uh, where the complex of legions, uh, ligand is coming, ligand and androgen receptor, where they initiate uh, immune transcription. That is one of the sites of nuclear DNA where the complex of androgen and androgen receptor is coming. So the increase of the level of PCA shows a high activity of androgen receptor in patients with prostate cancer. Initiation of prostate cancer in many cases association with activation of signal pathways that stimulate cellular proliferation. This is an ex uh, this example is androgen dependent upregulation of the family of E26 ATS uh, transcription factors activate of other signal pathways such as P3K, uh, kinase. Essentially, the possibilities of hormonal therapy are uh, aimed at uh, eliminating the impact of androgens at uh, different stages. We know these stages well enough. There is this castration th therapy, surgical removal of the source of androgen production, or chemical castration using agonists or enter. Uh, antagonists that reduce the production at the level of hypothalamus, uh, the production of gonadotropin, a luteinizing hormone, thus reducing the production of testosterone. These are the drugs that block the transition of testosterone to a no more active form of digital testosterone uh, and uh, for inhibitors of the synthesis of androgen in testicles uh, in the intracellular synthesis of estrogens that is biroteron drug and of course inhibitors of androgen receptor the most interesting uh, drugs which we uh, divide into steroid and osteroid uh, drugs of the first generation and of the second generation, which not only block androgen receptors, but are also blocking that stage of translocation of uh, androgen receptor into the nucleus and are associated with DNA in the nucleus for the beginning of transcription. Uh, uh, two other Nobel Prizes in that area were received for discovery of peptide hormones of uh, brain, gonadotropin uh, releasing hormones, luteinizing uh, hormone, follicular stimulating hormone, Roger Blaine and then the Shelley received Nobel Prize for discovery of these neural peptides in the central nervous system, which activate and regulate the development of testosterone, production of testosterone by the testicles. Uh, today, it is shown that the level of testosterone, which we attain by surgical or chemical castration, might affect the remote results of the treatment. This diagram, we can see that the patients uh, for which the level of testosterone is attained after uh, 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 therapeutic construction of surgical construction, unless the, uh, the uh, uh, 20 have the better survival as, uh, versus the patient for whom the level of testosterone is over 15 nanograms per deciliter. Uh, since uh, uh, my paper also belongs to Ibsen Company. I would like to show several slides on triptorelid that makes it possible uh, to uh, reach a rather low level of testosterone uh, as compared to other luteinizing uh, releasing hormones. That study involved 125 patients, and we compared three uh, algaes of algae, uh, gozerelin, deferelin, and leiforelin that uh, were uh, uh, administered with uh, three within three months doses. The concentration level was analyzed prior to treatment at uh, three, six, and uh, nine months after treatment. You know that the percentage of patients with uh, castration of uh, testosterone is less than nine, na uh, ten nanograms per deciliter. In uh, ten, after ten months, it was the house, highest when triptorelin was used versus rapilorelin and gozerelin. Lately, 
we have changed the notions about the treatment of uh, hormone-sensitive prostate cancer and uh, several studies, I'm not going to enumerate all of them to save time, uh, showed that uh, uh, not only castration therapy but combined treatment using antiandrogens of the new generation and using inhibitors of the synthesis of androgens, Biretron using cytotoxic uh, toxic chemical drugs uh, has an advantage in terms of overall survival. If we start to treat the patients at the stage of hormone sensitivity uh, by using a combined uh, regimen, uh, Several studies used combination of castration therapy with docetic cell that showed a reliable improvement of survivability, particularly in patients with a large volume of a tumor, more than uh, by one year, overall survival increased by 17 years, and the risk uh, was reduced by 37 percent in the group of combination. The same was shown. Uh, in terms of the overall survivors, when we had a combination apilodomate with antiandrogens, and you see that uh, the uh, reliable uh, divergence of the curves of overall survival, the combination with enzalutamide also showed a significant re uh, increase of overall survival in patients who received that combination after diagnosing uh, hormone-sensitive uh, prostate cancer. Uh, however, unfortunately, hormone-sensitive prostate cancer sooner or later passes into castra uh, castration refractory uh, prostate cancer, and the patients are not responding even to effective uh, combined therapy. The mechanism of developing uh, uh, stational refractory Pro, uh, cancer is rather complicated, but all the possible mechanisms are either androgen receptor dependent or androgen receptor independent mechanisms. There are four uh, sk uh, main uh, de uh, development mechanism of castration refractoriness, and uh, most of them are related with androgen receptor and with active functioning of androgen receptor, even at development, uh, at the phase of development of castration refractoriness. One of the mechanisms is hyperexpression of androgen receptor together with uh, high uh, steroid genesis. The second mechanism, different mutations of AR that make it uh, possible and are to be bound to other uh, steroid hormones, estrogens, progest uh, progesterone, glucocorticoids, which uh, there is mutated receptor that doesn't recognize correctly, and it uh, not uh, it is activated not by androgen but uh, by other steroid hormones. Anti-androgen flutamide, we know uh, uh, the withdrawal syndrome, which works when flutamide, instead of blocking uh, AR, starts to stimulate it. That is one of the mechanisms that accounts for that mutation of androgen receptor in the process of hormonal therapy. The third mechanism is ligand-dependent activation of androgen receptor, a different therosin kinase receptor insulin growth factor via activation of signal pathways PI3K, KTM TOR, which activates AR and possibly in the process of great significance, uh, microRNA. Uh, uh, lately, there were some works published that shows that as one of the mechanisms of ligand-dependent uh, activation of AR. In some patients, we have proved that uh, ligand uh, uh, by, uh, binding domain of AR disappears, and due to that, the terminal uh, and terminal domain is uh, constantly in negative condition, which uh, stimulates the signal pathway related with androgen receptor. And the fourth, androgen independent mechanism due to activation of uh, a gene antipeptose, BTL2, for instance, or we know that in the process of 
uh, hormone therapy. There are the death uh, of tumoral cells and different uh, cytokines are released from the cells. These cytokines are attracting different forms of lymphocytes, the B and T lymphocytes, which infiltrate the tumor. And they trigger different mechanisms of survival of tumor cell due to the activation of uh, a step three transcription factor, for example. Mindful of the fact that androgen receptor remains very important for uh, the uh, clinical trials results, uh, speaking about that, it's uh, drugs which are used. Uh, uh, Ibrotron, uh, this is the first line uh, therapy of metastatic. Uh, Orchestration of cancer of prostate is very e efficient. Mesotetid in the first line of refractory prostate cancer is very efficient as well. And in the second line of therapy, both drugs are very having very high efficacy. Androgen receptor and the impact upon the pathway, signal pathway with androgen receptor remains one of the most important factors in hormone-sensitive cancer and in patients with the development of castration refractory function. Nowadays, we have got a wide range of different medical drugs, uh, and we can use them even in a refractory tumor. But we should know the sequence of the drugs and which ones should uh, be indicated. We don't discuss it right now, but most of the drugs are related to androgen receptor signal pathway. Last thing to mention, I'll get back to where I started from androgen receptors are expressed not only epithelial cells, but also on the cells of tumor, surrounding tumor, uh, tumor associated fibroblasts, microfags, lymphocytes, endothelial tissues, neutrophils, dendrites, cells, uh, and uh, micro, just a tumor, micro surrounding. Uh, environment is no less important uh, than tumor uh, cells themselves because all those cells are interacting between themselves and they are uh, having different uh, multi-directional influence. Uh, they can either trigger the proliferation or suppress the tumor cell. Apart from that, it was proven that testosterone uh, adapts uh, the immune response, uh, suppresses the inflammation. Uh, in cytokines, inflammation, NFKB signal path well, and uh, the activation of NFKB blocks the proliferation of androgen dependent cells uh, of pr prostate cancer. All those mechanisms are related to androgen receptors, which are expressed on the cells of the immune system and enable the tumor cells to interact with uh, um, the tumor uh, surrounding uh, environments cells and there could be other sequences of drugs to treat prostate cancer and they would be directed not to the tumor cells per se but to the surrounding tissues that will be also impact upon androgen receptor androgen receptor is of paramount importance in the initiation uh, the course and the prevalence of the prostate cancer and in the appearance of new medical drugs to treat this disease. Thank you.